So, Sonia, happy people really do have healthy habits, is that correct? Yes, they do. Can you, would you say they have bad habits too, or more so happy, healthy habits? Well, they have found with research that people who are happy have certain habits that they do on a regular basis. So if you're not a happy person, you might want to adopt some of these healthy habits. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait to hear what you have to say because I think I need to adopt some of those. Okay, so one of the things that you say, live in the moment. So many yes. of us don't do this. Right. A lot of times what we do is we focus a lot of our thoughts or a lot on the past or on the future. So something that happened to you in the past or on something that might happen in the future. But we do so much of that that we don't even focus on what's happening in the present. So for instance, if something's not going well in your life, and it's really interesting because I know all this stuff, yet I still fall into all that because I remember I was in my backyard and we are going to be moving soon and I just remember thinking I was in it was sunny I was with my little puppy and I was enjoying a drink and I just was lying there and I was thinking oh I have to move I can't believe I have to do all these things and just going on getting all stressed out about all the things I have to do and I realized wait I'm in I'm in my backyard it's the middle of the day during the week and I'm not working I'm you know it's a beautiful sunny day and I've got my puppy next to me why am I thinking about all these things? Focus on what's happening right now. What problems do you have right at this second? None. And then you become very present in the present. And so anytime you're feeling you're getting stressed about thinking about something, where you're thinking of something that happened in the past, or you're worrying about something that may or may not happen in the future, just ask yourself, wait a second, let me just ground myself. What problems do I have right now? Right this second, close your eyes and just say, what do I have, what problems do I have right at this moment? And I have to say, I'm sorry, I didn't get any of that because I was thinking about what I'm going to do tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking, you don't want to do that you. kind of thing. But you do, you know what, you hear a lot of the stars when they win awards, they will say, I'm just, I'm right now very happy and I just want to take in this moment because I don't know if it's ever going to happen, happen again. Right. Because you want to savor what is going on. Right, exactly. And I just think that sometimes when I say live in the now, uh, Eckhart Tolle has a book called The Power of Now and it's really it explains exactly how all that works and the truth is we we really do focus so much on the past and the present and once you start focusing on the present right now and appreciating life and stopping and smelling the roses and just loving your life the way it is right at this moment then you just feel so much happier okay that's a great one I like that also look at the glass as half full right so in, if you look at optimists and pessimists, they really do have a different way of thinking. Their thoughts are different, right? So if you look at a glass, it's either half full or half empty, right? So you need to start looking. Happy people look at the glass and see it as half full. So their thoughts are really positive thoughts. So it doesn't really matter what's going on in their lives. They're always looking for the silver lining in the situation. Right? They're focusing on a, the solution to a problem, not the problem itself. So instead of focusing, oh, I have all these problems, I'm, you know, I'm in debt, or whatever your problem is, they focus on what do I need to do. So they focus on the solution. So looking at the positive side of things. Pessimists focus on the problem. They complain, and they really play the victim and blame other people. The healthy, happy person doesn't do that. They take full responsibility of their life. And it's great advice right now because so many people are going through that whole job shift, whether they've lost a job, they're looking for another job, they've just landed the job, right. stressful, kids are back to school now, so parents are stressed, making everything work. So I, I love that, that little piece of advice right there. That's a great habit right there that we should um, embrace and not look at, as you said, as half empty. Right. Okay, another great advice, don't, uh, don't care what others think. Right, we focus so much and we're worried a lot about what other people think, what our parents think, our friends think, our neighbors think. And so we might you know, want to do something really amazing in life, like really follow our passion, but we don't do it because we're worried about failure and what other people think. And healthy, happy people don't care what other people think. 
That's great right? because you know it's so funny. I'm one of those who I do. I care what other people think, and I'm slowly starting to get out of that and say, you know what? Who cares? It's it's my life. I want to do what makes me happy. Right, and you just go out and just live beautifully and full on without worrying about others. And when I'm saying that, I don't mean don't care about other people. That's not right. what I'm saying. I'm just saying, don't let others. Dictate make, maybe? Yeah, dictate what you should or shouldn't do. I mean, a lot of times our family and friends give us advice and they really have our best interest in mind, but the truth is it's based on their experience walking in their own shoes and giving you advice based on that. They haven't walked in your shoes. They don't know what you really want and what your passions are. So sometimes, for, in for instance, parents might say, you know, oh, don't change jobs. You have an amazing job. Don't take that risk. You, you may never get a job like that again because they don't want to see you fail. They don't want to see you in pain. But the truth is you need to decide that and not, don't worry about what others think. And I really believe the more people laugh at you, the better it is. Really? Yes. And and why is that? <laughs> Nobody likes having people laugh at no. them. <laughs> because when you when people laugh at you, that's just really confirming that you are walking your own path in life. You are not submitting to living to conforming to to life like everybody else. So you, I would do that all the time. I remember before I wrote my book, I, I would go around telling people, I'm going to write a book. It's going to be a bestseller. And people would laugh. you like, okay, yeah, sure you are. Okay, you it's know. It's a big dream she has. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And these are people who have never done that before. So to them, it was like as if that's really going to happen. And I said, laugh all you want. I will have the last laugh. Right? And, and you have had yeah. the last laugh. Okay, something else you say too. Give. Right. Well, happy people really are of service to others. Like It's really important to them to make a difference in other people's lives. So a lot of times, whether, it, and it could be anything, it could be with your family, it could be with your neighbor, it could be going on a humanitarian trip, um, it, it could be giving to charity or volunteering. I find it really amazing. I've been on so many humanitarian trips over the years and when I tell people about it, people say, wow, that's so commendable of you, Sonia. And of course, I say, well, thank you very much. But in my head, I'm thinking, don't you get it? I get so much out of it. It makes me so happy to see the smiles of these children when you're dropping off supplies. And, and there's just so much gratitude. And, and it's really a connection with another person. And so healthy people, they have found that healthy people give. They give of themselves. They're not so self-absorbed with themselves, but really going out there and helping other people. And when you say give, it doesn't. You're not just talking about monetary work. Oh no! You're going out and you're handing money to an organization, um, or you're, you're going out there and you're you're buying a whole bunch of groceries, saying, "Look, I've done my part. Or bought and toys." It's like you said, whether it's helping to build a house, helping to um, build a well so they have fresh it, water. It could be shoveling the snow for your neighbor. Yes. Right? Uh, or for an elderly neighbor and drive them to the grocery store. Or even keeping somebody company for an right. hour who doesn't have visitors during the week. Right. Exactly. Okay, so sort of, does that where that comes in with your body and mind connection? Well, the body and mind connection is really about taking the time to take care of yourself. Happy people take care of themselves. So that means exercising, eating healthy, and really taking the time to just reflect. Meditating is a fantastic way to have that connection. If you, especially with stress, because what happens is when you are stressed, it's really hard to be really happy when you're really stressed out. Oh, right? yes, I hear you. <laughs> right, and if you meditate, and I highly recommend that you try it, because truly, that just puts you in a beautiful, peaceful state of mind. I'm sorry, I'm laughing right now because when you say meditate, I'm thinking, I can't even sit still for five minutes without talking. And so for, for somebody like me, it's very difficult to do. But I hear from so many people the benefits of doing it. Right. And as a beginner, you might want to get one of those CDs that actually take you through the whole meditation. So they tell you what to do. Breathe in, breathe out. 
And so maybe that'll be easier for you to actually sit still. You can actually meditate without any music. You could just sit there and just be silent. So this is good right now, like I said, for parents who've got the kids back into school right now who are saying to the kids, I'm going to kill you if you don't sit down and do what you're <laughs> told and eat your dinner. This would be great for them to, to just take five minutes each day maybe. Well, I have to say, I, I've always talked about the inner champion hour. It really is important to take that time to yourself every single day and really focus on mind, body, spirit, and do the meditating journaling, journaling, exercise, whatever that is. It could be walking around the block, going to the park, going to the gym, playing tennis, whatever makes you happy. That time to yourself is really, really great for you because truly it will relax you for the rest of the day. It has you set for the rest of the, the day to really be able to be peaceful because you've taken that time to yourself instead of being stressed out all the time. Uh, what about forgiveness? That's a big one. Forgiveness is a really big one and happy people forgive. And because when you don't forgive truly you have that feeling inside you that is not a good feeling. It's really hard to be happy when you are holding resentment toward another person. And so if you're, you may be thinking, I don't want to forgive because that's like condoning what they did. Right. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying to forgive and, and, and let it go and be at a place where you are at peace with what happened, okay. right? So if you can forgive, that's really great. Uh, I just think it's important to let it go, whatever happened, because when you don't, you're really only hurting yourself. Right? You it's really are. The, the, it's like the old saying, not forgiving is like drinking rat poison and expecting the rat to die. You're only hurting yourself. Because it eats away at you and, right. and you suffer when it comes to your health. And just recognize with, with that, with any negative situation or anything that happened, as soon as you st start looking for the silver lining around that event, the good side of it, the lesson that you learned, how you grew from that experience, it makes it much easier to forgive and be happy. And the last healthy habit of really happy people, gratitude. You hear this all the time. Yeah, being grateful is so important as well. And happy people are very grateful for what they have. Relationships, health, whatever it is. And I think it's really important to take the time to really be grateful every single day. Maybe before you go to bed at night, if you have a spouse, say to each other, what are you grateful for today? Five things you're grateful for today. And then when you wake up in the morning, same thing. Think of what you're grateful for. Happy people are really grateful for what they have and grateful for their lives. Well, you have changed a lot of our minds right now with, <laughs> with these great habits. And of course, honey, you always do workshops too where you help people out. That's right. Um, I do workshops all the time. Um, you can just go to my website at www.leadoutloud.ca and you'll be able to see where my workshops are being held. For those of the people, for those um, people that are not interested in going to a workshop but rather want to do the work and really get to that place where you're able to shift your mind and, and really be happy no matter what's going on in your life, you can also do an online home study program called the Shift 21 Day Project and you can get that on my website as well. Helping to change people's minds and uh, their lives. Sonia, thank you so much. We appreciate you stopping by. Thank you. And of course, Sonia's book, The Law of Attraction, Plain and Simple, Create the Extraordinary Life that You Deserve, is now available in bookstores.